today uh, we will be starting with introduction towards unity 3d and c sharp so here in this introduction we will be seeing regarding unity 3d how to open that particular unity hub what is unity asset store tools of unity 3d and package installation from asset store also we will be seeing uh, completely regarding towards the creating a script file inside the unity 3d it is a simple and a single step process and from that we will be able to open up our visual studio uh, whatever the version we have installed and how to add the add-ons towards a particular unity and we will be also working with some of the basic uh, fundamentals on unity with c sharp so this will be uh, this particular sessions agenda therefore let us start with unity so now everyone will be wondering like what kind of uh, particular picture it is this so this is just an image regarding towards this unity so how the designs and what and all the platforms are there like we will be able to apply the texture we will be able to apply the texture in 2d 3d and its particular dimensions uh, measurement and at the same time multiplying with axis then adding many packages uh, even it is also possible to work under the audio processing also with the help of the unity over here and therefore we will be also going on with some uh, scenery or rendered sections but whatever the design which has been made in this particular image it looks like a realistic one so how that particular realistic or uh, the turnings and all means it is a fine tune of a graphics designer okay so definitely uh, not everyone won't be able to design this kind of things so some of the pre designed materials are also available inside the unity and which we will be able to import it as easy as possible into our system so from this particular sections only here we will be just taking over to the higher level so to display just as an particular window here i have just shown you how a full finished uh, design uh, will be there inside an unity 3d now the unity versions which i am using over here it is nothing but 2020 so there we have to go for unity means so this will be uh, the respective site So from this we can go for the product so industrial collection uh, for 3d into ar vr everything will be there and the unity pro means uh, that also we are allowed to take that okay so uh, particular unity pro means it takes amount this much price and if you go for unity in real time means you can work as well as automate the 3d data so for conversion purpose we will be able to work upon here so for the get started so uh, here like this we will be having uh, different different sections over there but uh, student means we can get for a free sign in personal also we can get for free sign in so we can just go for uh, this particular kind of section in the mode of personal whatever i am uh, we are particular applied with personal kind of license only so we will be able to download it from directly into the website and trial versions also available So therefore, if we just uh, go for this particular download means, we will be able to download the Unity 3D. So here also we can use if you are just professionalized over there. So first we have to download that particular Unity Hub. So after downloading the Unity Hub, we have to log into it. Okay, so how means? So this is the Unity Hub app okay so initially it will be like this so here already i have logged in with my particular account 
and uh, here we have to enable all our requirements after the installation pro process so if you want to go for the tutorials that is also available for vr ar beginners everyone and then community will be there in order to uh, post your doubts if you want to post your doubts directly means that's also possible with uh, unity team members or any of the developers from unity and if you want to install any of the additional packages means we have to come up over here so now uh, for the current version whatever i'm using 2020.3.17 f1 so inside this uh, i have both the supports for uh, ios with android and similarly here i will be also able to add if i want any other modules also so i have to click on add modules now within that particular modules android build support inside that android build support i have to take for android sdk and jdk to uh, convert an ar into android application similarly for ios for tvos linux mac universal uh, windows platform webgl web build support luminos support so like that uh, different different supports are available now just click on next and uh, so here already I have installed the Microsoft Visual Studio so there is no need of that. Now click on next, click on I have read and done. So wait for that particular updates whatever we require. Now along with this uh, the same particular Visual Studio uh, everything will be installed. So for that particular installation it automatically takes in the form of c-sharp especially for unity if you download which so you will be having an option like unity python c c plus plus java dot net etc but uh, here we will be just uh, directly going on with c-sharp only because unity supports directly towards the c-sharp section now after this installation only here we will be able to create a file and open this particular unity package visual studio the microsoft website yeah you can go for this so with the help of this visual studio we will be using that c sharp and from this only we will be installing it so here is the visual studio i am using as for 2019 and sign in is required so in this way only we have to log in towards our visual studio now normally those are going to do the program means they will just go for a uh, create new project and uh, from that here we will be selecting what and all the requirements are there but here uh, we no need to go in this particular way itself first you have to just keep it in a login that is only enough after that we can close this then we can move on towards our unity software from unity we will be able to directly open our uh, C sharp file with Unity engine. Now, all the particular packages, the required things, everything has been installed. So let us check once again. So for the add modules, yeah, the two portions has been installed and it is ready to work. Now go for the projects. Click on new, select the version, provide a location, default location for that. Finally, it has been opened. So this is nothing but our first view for Unity 3D.
So this is the maximum size which we will be able to view for us. And here we have all our 360 degree. So like that, uh, we can just uh, click on this particular portions. And with the help of the scroll button itself, we will be able to move. So now it is in cursor uh, mode. So like that selection or uh, clicking on the object, those kind of portions we will be able to work on it. Then we can move on to the hand tool if you want to move the screen. So now we can see almost uh, in three dimension roots. Okay, so like this we can move. view to 3D view. 